This building, okay, uh -huh. and I was doing restorations. Yeah, low key, mostly just sprucing up things. But I was doing that kind of business with your David, if you've met him, my my son, and my other son Dan, who lives here, because when they graduated from high school, there was no work. Mm -hmm. I was on the road making some good money in my business, and so. I opened this business. My two sons ran this business. Managed to last four years, five years. I have to ask my wife. She was the, the boss. Now that's what won awards for me. That's the first one. <clears throat> and then and then we won awards for our Shelbys. There's some more. That's mine. That's mine in front of the house. Those are 70s. Yeah. Because it's got that black stripe on there. Right. Okay. But here's more pictures of the same that I had over the period of time. Don't know. You don't let your feelings haunt you. You don't ever get nervous, do you? With all the right cards in your hand. All right, we're at another collection. Uh, not sure where we are, but we're going to go check out one in this gentleman's house. There's some good stuff to look at. This is all Redline Club items, but this is the ones I'm just keeping myself. I've got a whole bunch of tubs out there that I didn't want to keep. So, you want me to change the lighting any? No, it's good. I can pick it up. Cause it works whenever I stay Is there another way? But it works even more when I go You gotta let me know Yeah, it works whenever I stay Is there another way? But it works even more when I go I'm screaming out I'm screaming This is Bud and we're uh, thankful in Bud's home. It's nice and safe and warm and it's full of Hot Wheels cars and all yes. kinds of other stuff. Yes. But you're a big a big die cast collector mostly in the 64 scale? Uh, yeah, mostly in 64 but I have from 150 up or one I should say from 118th up. Have, have you always been this since we, you were a kid? Since you were uh, I've been doing it since I was an adult and bought cars for my kids. Okay. Okay. We, we saw some of those. I have, you know, a few red lines left from the days that I bought for my kids. They're in that, you know, they're played with and in that case over there. Right. But, uh, yeah, that was really what started it in die cast. Yeah, but you're a big Ford guy. Oh, absolutely. Is, is there one car in this collection that stands out for you that's the... That's tough. I know. Because, I know. No, I'm going to say no. There's a, there you go. That, that's that's the car that's out on the, on the driveway, you know. Then... <clears throat> That's, that's the Mustang we presently drive. Yeah, that one doesn't have flames on it though, but no. yours does. <laughs> Not only flames, but it's got a different engine and a okay. different stance. And, yeah. and we even took out the quarter windows on that one yeah. out there, don't you notice that? Right. Because we made it a show car 10 years ago. What advice would you give someone who is a, a, a new collector? Mm -hmm. Someone that, that's trying to decide what they want to collect and and what scale and all that kind of stuff. Because you got a little bit of everything, but you've been doing it a long time. Yeah. What's some advice you could give them? The advice is to, to collect what you want. Mm -hmm. Don't get carried away into other items 
just because maybe it's worth a little money or whatever, yeah. collect what you want so you can enjoy your hobby. So stay focused. Oh yeah, stay focused. Yeah, stay fantastic. focused. From Focus. the man, this, this is what happens when you get a little bit older, the wisdom comes in, the collection gets larger, and all hell breaks loose. Yes, yes, especially when you're younger. If you keep collecting bigger and bigger, and all of a sudden oh, you'll yeah. see in the building out back, which is really jammed down tight, but you'll see what happened back in the days when all of a sudden really going crazy. Yeah. I've got cases on cases on cases. Thank goodness for Hobby DB. Hobby DB. Yeah. I'm selling them off. This dude right here. <laughs>
no kidding. been a really great trip with the guys from Hobby DB. Uh, we had so much fun, saw so many different kinds of cars. I'm at the airport now and I just found out that my flight doesn't leave until seven o'clock tonight, so I got about seven hours to kill. There's a lot of stuff to do in here, but I had a really good time. Big thanks to all those guys. We're gonna be going back in April and we're gonna be doing a bunch of other stuff. All right, big thanks to the guys at Hobby DB for uh, showing me around the entire time I was there in Boulder. And especially thanks to all those guys, all those collectors and stuff for uh, touring us, you know, through their collections and showing us all those different kinds of things. We had a really good time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We are going to be heading back to Boulder in the next month or so. We're going to be doing some more stuff with these guys. And if you really have a, a, a collection of anything, go check out Hobby DB, upload your stuff, and tell them Fireball sent you.